In this lesson, we'll examine the early stages of visual processing, and along the way, we'll add to our uh, list of conceptual tools to understand neurons and how they can represent things in the world. So here we have the human brain, and we see the person's eye here, and of course, light will enter the eye and strike the back of the eye, the retina. We can think of the retina as a two-dimensional sheet of light-sensitive cells. And the way they're uh, hooked up here, there are axons leaving the eye. We call this the optic nerve. So uh, when retinal cells detect light, electrical signals in the form of action potentials will race down the axons of these uh, optic nerves uh, to a structure in the brain called the thalamus. Now, this is the lateral geniculate nucleus of the thalamus. Don't worry about that name for now. But just uh, uh, it's enough to know that there's a synapse here. And then cells in the thalamus are going to send their axons, and that's this whole mass of fibers here. Those axons project up to the visual cortex, in particular V1 here. You'll notice there are different areas of, of uh, visual cortex, but V1 gets the principal input from the thalamus. So this is the flow of visual information in the brain, from the retina down the optic nerve to the thalamus. From the thalamus cells, they send their signals back to the visual cortex. To see what this visual pathway looks like in a real brain, here we have a brain that's been turned upside down. The front of the brain is over here, and the back of the brain is over here. And some of the temporal lobes have been dissected away so that we can see some of the nerves. So up here, we have the remains of the optic nerve. So the optic nerve would extend out this way to the eyeball. The eyeball's been removed, and this optic nerve would go to the other eye. Uh, but here we have the optic nerves progressing to the thalamus, so on both sides. Now, uh, thalamus cells then send their axons, and that's what this whole bundle of white matter, these are the axons uh, from thalamus cells. So there's a massive projection of axons back to visual cortex. So uh, lots of the tissue has been dissected away, so you can actually see this is visual cortex, and it is uh, hooked up to the thalamus, which is getting its information from the eyes. So this is the, the uh, visual pathway in the human brain. Now what you're about to uh, see is a famous experiment done some decades ago where researchers recorded the electrical activity of cells in the visual cortex in an awake animal while that animal was looking at various stimuli on a screen. So they wanted to measure the electrical activity of individual cells back here in the visual cortex while the animal was looking at visual stimuli. And the experimental setup looks like this. So here we have the animal, in this case a cat, and it's been sedated, so it's, it's comfortable, but it's, uh, it's immobile here. It's in an apparatus so that it is just uh, eyes open, but eyes fixed on a screen, and then they're going to project different stimuli on the screen. Meanwhile, they're inserting microelectrodes into the back part of the brain, the visual cortex, and they're finding individual cells, and then they're recording the frequency of action potentials for various stimuli that they show the animal. Okay, so as this diagram illustrates here, you see the, the cat is looking at a bar of light, or you can think of this as an edge at a certain orientation. And what Hubel and Wiesel discovered, uh, somewhat by accident really, uh, is that there were populations of cells in the visual cortex that seemed to prefer certain edges of different orientations. And remember, we talked about a preferred stimulus. The preferred stimulus is that stimulus that generates the maximum action potential frequency in the target cell. So what they're uh, showing over here is the cell's preferred stimulus. So when they would shine a horizontal bar, right, for a horizontal edge, uh, the, um, and this is time on the x-axis, the cell did not respond with any action potentials. If the edge was at a slight angle, still no response. As the edge sort of uh, continued towards the vertical, you get an increasing level of response. So high frequency action potentials for a vertical edge or a vertical bar of light. And again, as you continue to rotate the stimulus, you get decreasing response. So what they found was that th this cell, this particular cell, one cell, had a preferred stimulus of a vertical edge or a vertical bar of light. 
Now, when they would push their electrode through the visual cortex to just record from other types of cells, they found cells that responded to all of these different kinds of uh, stimuli. In other words, different cells had different preferred stimuli, but they all were responding to edges of one orientation or another. And so they sometimes are called orientation cells or edge detectors. So over here we have all these little colored marks. Um, we can think of these as just sort of uh, edges, the, the different kinds of edges of, of all the different types of orientations you could imagine. <coughs> and, and the idea is there are populations of cells in, in groups that respond to all these different kinds of orientations, creating a map in the visual cortex of cells that are prepared to respond to edges of different orientations. Now, why are edges so important? Well, after all, objects in our environment have boundaries that are edges, right? Tables and chairs and buildings and TVs and so on. Um, these objects, the, the boundaries of these objects are, are lines of various orientations. Even curves can be sort of broken down into uh, smaller line segments of, of different orientations. So what these researchers uh, discovered was that the earliest stages of visual processing uh, seemed to uh, break the visual world down into uh, edges of various orientations, and it, it raised the possibility that perhaps later in the visual processing, um, more complicated uh, types of uh, objects and shapes are being processed. But the earliest stages of visual processing seems to involve the detection of edges of different orientations. <coughs>